Scripting tmux to open specific applications can be intimidating your very first time. It can be tricky to start in the correct directory. And if you're trying to assign applications to a key binding, it can get you can get into a big mess real quick and have weird things popping up all over the screen every time you source your tmux configuration. Let's take it a look at a at the first one I got here, which is uh, opening up HTOP in a and a split above us. This is one that I used for quite a few years just to like peek in on performance. Maybe we're running a memory intensive task and we just want to do a quick uh, mod T. Here, let's, uh, and see, you notice that we kind of get, uh, it automatically zooms, unzooms us. So if we've got any other splits going on, it kind of, you know, wrecks with our session here, but, um, it does it does open up htop up there and the swap pane dash u will make sure that uh, when it opens that it will be the one in focus so if i do uh, let's do a wit on that on that split uh, so now this is our only split on the section uh, let's open up our tmux configuration i want to pop in my new key binding which is to use a pop-up instead of a uh, split. Kind of nice to have it in a split sometimes, but really um, I've been enjoying the pop-ups. Uh, I like that consistent look. It doesn't mess with the layouts. Do a mod T. I get my HTOP full screen up there. Hit Q to quit. Uh, HTOP is an easy one. Mod T opens up HTOP. Doesn't matter what directory it's in. It can open up anywhere. A couple other applications that I use a lot are VIFM and a Git UI. Uh, you can just use a Git status if you want. A lot of times I'm just like checking up, you know, are we clean? Are we not clean? Uh, both of these guys need a directory to start in. Uh, if we look here, we've got, uh, I think I still got my new key bindings on. Uh, mod E. Where's my mod E? Yeah, let's do a GCJ. Save go back. So now we're on the split format of our layout. And what this will do, the uh, split window dash C takes in a path and we can grab the current pane path. So we can start up VIFM or get UI. Uh, resize pane will start the pane zoomed in. So what we're doing is we're creating a split, zooming it in full screen. Uh, let's take a look at it. Alt E. This is VIFM. We can, it's kind of like a file explorer. Control or uh, shift Q to quit. Um, I can also do a prefix control K. This is get UI. So these are all of the blog posts that I've edited recently. And I can quickly see on the left hand side what the diff is. Shift Q to quit. Um, and this actually works out pretty well for both of these applications. It opens a split. So if I did want to like go back, uh, let's see here. So if I did mod J, I can go between two things. Uh, but really, um, most of the time I just pop them up and then close them. Um, so yeah, let's look at uh, my new key bindings, GCJ to... Uh, uncomment that with T Pope's commentary. Uh, come back over here and very similar, except display pop-up takes a dash D flag for directory instead of dash C. Um, make sure you do a dash E so that you can be interactive with these um, text applications. Uh, fix that up here. So now if we do a mod E, we get uh, VIFM and a split. Uh, while we're recording here, this is super cramped, but um, a typical workflow, I've got my terminal full screen. This works. If I was in this layout more often, uh, something I might do is, uh, you know, zoom that out just a little bit with those uh, X and Y, uh, H and W type of commands uh, in the, in the pop-up. Uh, now we can just do our same shift Q to quit. Uh, we can do the control B, control K, gets us in this get UI, and we can quickly see what's changed. Shift Q to quit. Yeah, 
So those are some of the applications that I use. Uh, let me know what kind of applications you think you would find useful as a hotkey. As always, we've got the full playlist that all the TMUX videos linked up on the screen. And you can check out the full article for this video down in the description below.